Hey, it's Adam with Productivity Academy, and this is in response to a question, but something I wanted to share with people. Um, there's a lot of really neat tools out there. I previously talked about exist.io. Um, I know there's a lot of really cool journaling tools already, and now with some of the AI stuff going on, there's some really neat stuff coming online, whether it's new tools or being added to tools, but sometimes there just isn't something you know that fits what you need. Um, or there isn't uh, a way to take or prepare or use your data in the way that you want. Um, so this is where using something simple like a Google Form can be really helpful. So for example, uh, you can see up here, this Google Form has 361 responses. I used it for about a year uh, before switching into something else. Uh, but I just wanna talk through what uh, kind of how to set this up, what it is and what you can do as far as exporting the data, which I think is really important because if you do any sort of automation or data manipulation or moving it around, you know that Google Sheets can be really easy because it integrates with basically anything, whether you know it's Zapier or you wanna download the data, uh, display it using uh, charts or move it into Google Data Studio. There's so much you can do. Whereas if it's maybe in a proprietary system, sometimes it can be really hard uh, to get it out of there. Um, so what I was doing with this was just asking myself some questions and the exact questions aren't that important. I'll go through a couple of them. But I would go through and just say, you know, physically, how do I feel on a scale of one to 10, right? Um, how do I mentally feel on a scale of one to 10? How motivated am I to get to work on my current projects? Uh, what went well? You know, what's one thing I could have done better? And then do I have any notes or thoughts? Um, and there's some additional questions about, I think at the time I was tracking uh, caffeine intake, like how many cups of coffee did I have? Maybe if um, you're tracking um, alcohol, um, or water intake or things like that, you could add as much or as little as you want. In general, right, you wanna keep this stuff pretty lean so you're not filling out some crazy long survey every single day unless that's what you want to do. Um, and then what you can do is, you know, you just click submit and done. Uh, so that was really, really helpful. If you're not familiar with Google Forms, um, just type in Google Forms, um, but it's part of any Google account and setting this up is really easy. You know, if you wanted to do this, um, you could, Oh, my phone just heard me and was trying to search. Um, so you could put in here, um, you know, daily questions. Um, and then you put in here, like, let's just kind of recreate that first one. You know, how do I feel physically? And it's not a multiple choice. We want to say um, a linear scale. We could do one to five. We could do, um, uh, let me see. But let's change that uh, to 10 like we had. Um, and then go ahead and leave it like that. Now let's go ahead and add in another question. So you can leave these off if you want. I mean, it's just kind of showing um, that. So we could like go back in here and just take that off if you want to leave it kind of clean. Come down to the next one. Um, and maybe, you know, this is more of a text answer like um, what's. Um, what am I ignoring that would be great to get done? Um, and then this might be, you know, a short answer. And a lot of times this can be uh, good for the day, like right away. Um, I like this question, um, you know, about what are you ignoring or what are you putting off um, as identifying like, okay, what's that one obstacle? Because that's probably the thing I need to be actually working on. But also over time, when you do reviews, um, you can go back and check this out and then see over time, maybe is there a thread? Is there a theme? Is it something you need to work on or is it something you need to delegate because you're realizing there's something you don't wanna do? Um, but let's say this is a very short uh, survey and that's it. Um, what we can do, you can also work on, let's see, responses. Um, we do not need to collect anything, but what you do want to do is make sure that you um, as you can tell, it's been a little bit since I did this. There we go. We want to link to sheets. Um, and this isn't a problem if you don't do this at first, but you want to um, link it. And just generally you want to create a new spreadsheet. And I'm just gonna call this um, video survey form test and create it. Because once you've done that, now you have, as it's opening up here, um, you have this sheet created. And now when I go back to the form and let's go ahead and uh, preview it. And we're gonna go ahead and switch this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put eight. And uh, what am I ignoring? Um, editing my video and click submit. 
great, we've got that. And now if we hop over here, boom, we've got it. So over time, we'll get this uh, going. And for example, we could maybe create a chart over you know time or just based on how I feel physically over time and look and see how that varies. You could start maybe doing some correlations between certain things like, hey, how's my coffee intake affecting you know this other thing that I give a numerical value to? So lots of fun stuff um, that you can do there. But again, um, this can be a great way if you need a custom way to um, get your data in, or maybe you just want kind of a dead simple way to do it. You don't want to have an external tool. Um, lots of reasons you might use a Google form uh, for creating your own uh, informal or uh, surveys, daily uh, journaling, things like that. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.